Hi, I'm the one boy and I'm back with another video and today I'll be talking about what might be the next event after the Four Seasons Harvest Fest is gone. Well, I think the next event is the football freeze like in every season because they said collect candy canes are used in the football freeze event to earn various rewards and I think since they already launched this holiday calendar, calendar I guess the next one might be football freeze and the card art is something like the font one I'm pretty much guessing but this guy doesn't give out chemistry holy smokes doesn't give up chemistry and so uh we won't be needing him we can burn him for xp and if you can collect 31 days out of the 37 days we can get this snowman like we can e equip this new emote but i can't launch my new emote and so here's what I claim from the Harvest Fest event. I have already claimed my player, at, which is Perrin, so he can play in goal. Like right here. I didn't switch to 4 5 1 because of chemistry purposes, and I tried doing that, but it dropped to 1 2 6 chemistry. Well, I made a small team upgrade, but it cost me coins. Yeah, it costed me like huge amount of coins from 94 to 94. <laughs> and this really sucks, but because I got Lukaku, I guess I will be. I bought Koresko to replace Kylian Mbappe for more chemistry with Odegaard and Lukaku. So now we are done, let's try and play a game in the Champions League, coming right up. We need to score a brace, well I just need to beat another skill game. Coin Runner is easy to get 3 skill stars in the easy one like in the easy skill game of the coin runner it's e you can you can get three stars and I think for starters to this game you can literally get two stars from this to complete the first quest I mean it's for it's more for beginners this one is more for beginners so and I just want to get the two skill stars easily, so let's do it. Okay. Yep, I get three skill stars on the first try. And I could easily get that one done. <coughs> okay, easily 15 group points. Now it's time for the match against Paris Saint-Germain. We have to score a brace with a single player. We get a corner, and I think the best one to score a brace is Lukaku. He can score... Oh, oh I messed up the header. Come on, you can still bring it back in front. Moranchuk. Pass it to the side. Okay, okay, okay. Find the gap. Shoot. Nice one. Always, I always find the gap in between defenders to shoot. Because that you can get it on target at least. Or maybe bring it out for a corner. I don't know. So just whatever 
Whenever you have a chance to score, just shoot. Just score it, even though you need to score a brace. Boom. 2 0 before the break. That's not a brace. Marine check one, look cap one, but it'll be easier to score a brace in the second half after that. So I recommend you just shoot the ball into the goal whenever you have the chance to score. I might have to give you an example. Right here, Saginov might have just found a gap in between the defenders. I can just, when I, I have the opportunity to score, and I just score. So that later, if the ball drops to Saginov, he can easily, he can score, and the brace is complete. But, if you like to take risk, then okay, it's fine by me. But this is just rec a recommendation. I'm not really forcing you. So, yeah. A poor mistake, but it's fine. You, need, you still need to score, so I guess it's fine. Oh, Lukaku nearly scores. Okay, since Lukaku is at a decent position, but Araujo instead, okay, is a good job by him. Araujo of, of the goal. I'm, I'm like the, the type of more aggressive people. Nice. Come on, we still need to score. Ekpa Ek Pro. Lukaku. Still Lukaku, come on. Oh, nice header. Okay, Ekpa Ek Pro. Odegaard. Moranchuk. Odegaard. Carrasco. Come on. Score, okay. Last goal! We scored with five different people already! Come on, we still need to score a goal with either of the five players that we scored with just now. Odegaard? I, I don't think it's Odegaard, but... Oh, Lukaku! Come on! Oh, man. Oh. He should have held his run, but... Okay, I think we don't have a chance, but I think we should just show how we, like, briefly show how we're supposed to do it. So, so I think after this experience, you can go of either way. I mean... This time I'll show you the taking risk method. Like Oh Oh second corner Oh my gosh Okay Lukaku Nice smashed in Okay, Lukaku just needs to score another goal. I think this time I'm luckier. I think this time I'm luckier. So that's why I it's it's much easier to do. Oh come on. Nice header by Romero. I trust him in defending. Okay, Odegaard is on the run. Lukaku, come on, man. You've got this. Vrachuk. Saiganov, it's okay. We just need to pass it to Lukaku. Free space for him. Ah! Oh, my gosh. Full half time already. I'm not touching it. Because I know it's half time.
taken wrist method. Yeah, this is how I take wrist. You want to try to, to get it. Yeah, okay, I don't mind. Because I've already got back up to entertain you. Araujo is running away. Ekpa Ekpro Odegaard. Oh, Odegaard, break through. Come on, Lukaku. Just spirit it. Oh, it's got in. And I guess we've completed the brace with Romelu Lukaku. Okay, here we go again. <clears throat> Can we score a hat trick or maybe another brace? Let's find out. <clears throat> Oh, he scores his hat trick. Good job, Lukaku. Oh yeah, last time when I played the feast match against Genoa, it was like one nil down, and then we get a corner. He he literally scored all four goals for our team. Four one, and all the goals were scored by Romelu Lukaku. So this guy is really insane at 87 over, went straight to 87 overall. Carrasco is not bad either, I must say. Even though he can't score so often, because he's only like an 82 overall guy. So why not? I mean, I'll try to score with him. I know, oh. Oh, yes. My 90 overall rated goalkeeper, Perrin Catulet. <clears throat> I was wishing it was a 90 overall Syria central midfield. That would be much better. I mean, yeah, much better. It will be much better, and Lukaku scored all the goals in the game again. Okay, so guys, thanks for watching. We we have seen what might be the next event, and the card art, and now we've seen some tips and tricks for the Paris Saint-Germain game. Thanks for watching. See you next time.